Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome back. This is April with Plan with April. Today we are planning week seven. Jeez, I can't even believe it's week seven already. Like, where is this year gone? I feel like just yesterday it was 2019 and here we are 2022, right? So I am actually changing up a lot of things today in my Hobonichi Chet Show. I am doing an actual sticker kit from Nightingale Paper Co. I saw this kit uh, when she was doing her birthday bash sale and I thought, oh my word, I absolutely love, 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 love how this looks and I can't wait to use it. So gonna be using that. I think this is stinking adorable. She did a really good job with her freebies. They are adorable. And I actually have a couple of birthdays this month that I'll need to mark on this week as well. So I am gonna incorporate this batch of stickers as well. And how stinking adorable are these for Valentine's Day, which happens to be Monday. So I also got just some regular Winstons from her. I got this one, which I'm gonna use for meal prepping. This one, because I've told you guys before, my food, like, fall off the wagon, get run over a couple of times is McDonald's. I, I know chicken nuggets are, like, the worst thing for me. Well, probably not the worst. I'm sure we could come up with, you know, a top ten and they wouldn't be number one. But still, uh, I did get the Golden Arches. I got pizza at least every other week we have pizza so I figured that would be a good one to have and then these for of course my YouTube channel I'm trying to get more organized with how I set up my channel um, you've probably noticed a little bit that uh, my uh, thumbnails have changed a little bit so I got some birthday birthday cakes and then cooking and filming which I thought all of them were stinking adorable she did a really good job on all of these. So shout out to you, Amanda at Nightingale Paper Co. Go check her link out. It's down below in my description. Without further ado, let us pop in here. I also want to see as I'm going through this, I might, I love that she leaves some room here at the top. I just want to do a couple of swatches with a few of my Tombos to see if I have got any that will blend. So I'm gonna pull, this one might be too purple. I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, that's, I'm not even gonna put it down on the paper. I, it's too purple. So let's try this N52. I'm just gonna do a little circle. That's a bit dark. Let's try, there's no green in here, which kind of surprises me. It's fine either way. I think the pink might be too pale. Actually, that looks pretty good. What is that, 761? That one was a bit dark. And then this one is 942. Mm, I like that one too. But what about N89? Gosh, none of the neutrals. Okay, cool beans. I don't have any yellows, so I think I don't even think I'm going to use my Tombos, to be honest with you. Let's work with the kit. Let's do this. Let's work with the kit. It comes with plenty in here that I can that I think I can make work. And if I need to incorporate, you know, anything along the way, we'll see. We'll just see. I do want to tell you the reason I picked out this kit. I got an idea for a new novel. I want to say it was last week. Sorry, I had to grab my tweezers. Um, I've been reading a lot of Colleen Hoover lately, and I love Colleen Hoover. She is probably one of my very favorite romance authors. I like her style. Um, I like how she how she incorporates everything into her stories, right? So I've been reading a whole bunch of Colleen Hoover and it kind of gave me an idea of a book not based on anything like she's written, but 
a romance that's all about that idea that you only you only accept the kind of love that or you only accept what you put out there so if you are so-called attracted to let's say a bad boy right and some people are that means what whatever personality that is or however they portray themselves that is what you find most attractive to you like that is what you accept as love well what if you have been with you know this individual that you pit you chose and you start realizing after doing a bit of soul searching that this isn't the kind of relationship you want anymore like you want more so do you one talk to your significant other and tell them hey look I have been I have been really thinking about this this is where I'm at this is what this is what I want out of life like things have changed I don't want to say a midlife crisis because I feel like that's red Corvettes and, you know, mistresses. I don't know. I don't want to say that because I, I don't feel that. I just feel like as, as we progress through relationships, things change. Like our wants and needs change. And I don't think it's one-sided either. I think it's both ways. So... Do you have a conversation about it or do you just decide that you've vested enough time and you're going to go so oats elsewhere and break off the relationship? Not a cheat thing. I can't do a cheat thing. Um, as, you know, writing cheats is really not my jam. I'm also going to, while I'm talking about this, find my numbers because I need to put numbers in here. Um, so anyway, that... That is what I'm thinking. And I don't know. I'm I'm debating on whether it sounds really cool or not. And what I think I might do is put it over on Wattpad as a free novel while I write it so that I can get some feedback from readers right away. I like doing that from time to time. I had both of my other books on there when I was writing them. Um, hey lady, are these your underwear? And the other one was, um, who's the girl in the fat suit? So if you were on Wattpad a few years ago, you may or may not have run across those two books that I was working on at the time. They're both done now. Um, they're both available on Amazon. Both of them have like a a humorous undertone to them. They're not too serious. You don't have to keep track of chapters. They are based on true events in my life, comedy events. I don't think there's anything sad. Maybe a little bit in Who's the Girl in the Fat Suit because it does, it does deal a little bit with, you know, weight loss and weight gain and being insecure about different things. So that one might, that one might have a, a little bit sadder of a tone to it. Let me see. I think I've got them right here. I do. Go figure. I've got them up my desk. So these are them. You can find them on Amazon. Um, they're just, they're just books. Um, let's see. They are uh, 176 pages for this one. And doo -doo -doo -doo. it looks like 219 for this one. So they're not huge. That's what she said. Actually, that is because I wrote them. Um, yeah, so if you like my like weird humor here on the channel, you might like the books. Just saying, you might. Okay, so I did lay that sticker down. I've got the headers down. There is some washi tape, so I'm gonna I'm gonna lay that down as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this week up a bit. Up a bit. I am usually in bed by eight o'clock at night. If you've been here for a while, you know I get up at the crack of dawn. And so going to bed at this time, it's just so that I can get enough sleep. I love sleep. 
there are usually weekends that I would say maybe once a quarter where I will wake up and I'm like, nope, I will have breakfast. And then I will turn around and go right back for a nap and I'll wake up the next day for real. It's just, I, I get tired and I need a whole, whole weekend to catch up on sleep. I know I am not the only one. I'm not the only one. Now, where do I want this? I think I want this banner in the middle. Right in the middle. Dawn close enough. These stickers are really adorable. Amanda, thank you so very much for making these. I love, 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 love them. Now, I know our weekend is going to be tied up. So, I want to dedicate one day, one morning one morning and I think it's going to be Thursday morning where I get up and I spend most of the morning writing. I really want to do it Sunday, but I think, I think we're going to be out of town. I'm going to put it on Sunday afternoon. I write better on the weekends anyway, because there's less pressure for me to go anywhere. That makes sense. And It'll give me time to kind of map out, you know, how I'm feeling. I think my main character's name is going to be Addison Wells. I really, I don't know. I was just sitting there and I'm like, Addison Wells. She can go by Addie. I like that. I think that's sweet. I'm going to put this little typewriter down here. If I want it down there. No, I think I want to use my sidebar up. And I don't think... I want any longer this calendar to show through. So I'll line this baby up and pop her down. Perfect. I like the calendar. It's just I don't need it. We all know what week we're on. It says a seventh week here. We know we're in February, so I think that'll work fine. I need to... I don't need any happy mail. I do need a grocery sticker, but I think I'm going to put in front of this row dinners and I'm going to put it in the sidebar. And I know that seems a little weird, but it's just going to mark, hi Mark, that this row right here is going to be dinners. And I'm just going to take my Klenna banner gel and I'm going to do a little arrow and point that over. That was probably not the best arrow, but sure. Sure, sure, sure. We are going to go with that. I really am loving these neutral colors. I think they're beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and mark. I've got two birthdays. And I'm going to go under here. I'm going to make them very important. So there's one. And and I'm gonna do the peach, orangish peach. I like this color. And, whoops. These boxes are formatted perfectly. Perfectly, look at those. And the other thing I like about Amber Stickers, uh, Nightingale Paper Company, is they don't stand up very tall. So some sticker companies know how they're, they're the thicker paper. So when you run your hand over your spread, you get the ridges. You don't get that much. They're not that tall. They're not that thick. Have you guys seen the TikTok where she's like, yeah, I'm thick, thick of being unappreciated. I don't know why I find that funny. I'm sorry. I just thought of it because of the thick stickers. Now I feel like a jerk. I'm a jerk. Also, I've had a beer. Not a whole one yet, just part of one. Not that that's an excuse. All right, let's backtrack 12 seconds, start over. Her stickers are great. That's all I meant. Okay, so let's mark in birthdays. So I wanna do, I think these are adorable. So adorable. So I'm gonna do a pink hat here for my mom-in-law, and then we'll give Wes, wait, that was Wes. Did I mess those up? Lordy, I did. Oh, geez. Okay, so this, we're gonna test how uh, her stickers remove. 
from the Tombow, paper, Tombow River paper. I can't believe I did that. You know, and I was thinking in my head, too, I don't think Wes's birthday is really on the 18th. It's because it's not. Oof. It is on the 20th. I swear. I swear. Maybe I shouldn't do plan with me's anymore with alcohol. That could be a bit detrimental. Just a bit. It's coming off. All right. Let's lay this back down. Sorry about that. I mean, not that it really matters. I'm going to go just a tiny bit higher since I did rip the page a bit. Not too terribly bad, but I do want to cover it just to kind of protect it. Pop that down. Get my tweeze. Just to be able to lay that sticker a little bit flatter. Hold up that end. Goodness sakes really struggling with the birthdays here. Goodness sakes. So, happy B-Day. Perfect. Smash that down. Good to go. No one will ever know. No one. They're going to know. They're not going to know. They won't know. I think this sticker is adorable. I want to cut that. All right. I'm going to see if I can do this. Because I think this is too cute. I want to see if I can salvage this. I want to see if I can make this work. I may or may not. We'll see. This could be one of those. Wow, we see where you're going with that, April, but you didn't really get that going. And I may not even be able to get the sticker paper separated. I may have to give this a whirl later or pick a really interesting topic to speak of so that you guys aren't clicking on another video. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll play with this off camera a bit. I really, really, really want to use this though because it's so cute. All right, I am going to play with that off camera when I'm done. We'll come back in, you know, next week or whatever and we'll take a look at it. So dinners are going to be here. I do have a few more flags that I want to use here. I could do meal planning here as well. Why don't I put this here and then I'm going to do meal plan. Down here at the bottom. My tweezers and my mind are just, that's fine. They're not connecting today. Like they're just, they're not quite hitting it. They're a little bit off. Also, I want to use this so that I know what kit I use for this week when I do my flip throughs in six months. I do have this washi strip as well, which I could totally use, but I want to do, I'm gonna put this up, up here. And I'm gonna say, So that'll be next week's meals down here. You can still hear I'm a little bit congested still. I'm over it, but obviously my body is not. So Tuesday on my way home from work, I am going to need to pick up groceries. No, I don't need that big of a space, but I do want to put down a little Winston. And I'm not even going to write anything there because I know what that means. Winston means I need to get groceries on my way home. And we are, I believe we are, going to be headed over to Mom's on either Saturday or Sunday. 
I'm going to say it's going to be Saturday, so I'm going to put that in there. Perfect. That's in there. Valentine's Day, we don't have anything planned that I know of. I should really plan something really special for Wes. He always goes out of his way to do something for me on Valentine's Day. I should do something super special for him. Just let him know. He is 100% appreciated. I don't want to overlap this by any means. I thought I wanted it there, but I don't. This is... This is the issue I always have when I use a sticker kit because I don't use them very often. That when I go to use them, I'm like, oh, what do I really want to put that there? Or do I really want to do this? So, if it was just washi tape and nothing else, it'd be different. I'm going to put this down and I'm going to put... I'm gonna put this little Winston. Maybe I'll take him to dinner. That might be kind of fun. I'll do some research and find out where in town is doing like a catered dinner where you just sit down and you know they bring you the food. You've got a couple choices. You need to make sure they're vegetarian. Vegan would be best, but vegetarian works too. I could also make him dinner. That might be fun too. If we did like homemade bagel pizzas and a movie, that might be fun. I wish it wasn't on Monday. Mondays are a rough day, start of the week. We've got a whole week ahead of us. So staying up late is not an option. I sound like such a baby. I sound like such an old lady is what I sound like. I swear we get up so early. It is so hard. Right? I know. It's ridiculous. I'm going to pop this baby back in here because I probably won't use it. At least not on this spread. So I'm going to put in here, what do I have up here? Dinners, that's a cute one. Let's put that in. And then I do have, I can use the payday sticker. Because I do have a payday on Tuesday. So why don't we put that down. You guys, budgeting is going super, super well so far. I am really, really proud of myself for doing a no spend. You don't know how many times I have been on Amazon and I'm like, oh, I'll just get a couple bucks or I'll just do this or, oh, maybe I could justify this as a house expense. <laughs> it's, yeah, I have been really good about not placing an order. So, so far so good and I'm I'm really really happy with that so far so good I am going to I really want to pop down this box because I've got a word count goal that I want to do this week and I want to be able to write that in there so usually I goal myself about a thousand words a day but since I'm only gonna be writing one day this week I'm gonna goal myself 7,000 words for the week And that's what that means. 7,000 words this week. Sometimes I have really weird uh, abbreviations that I pick. I don't know why. Uh, but I've noticed in previous videos, I'm like, what is... Nobody abbreviates that that way but me. It's just, I don't know. My brain. And then here, I'm just going to mark in... Actually, I know it's payday because I put the payday sticker there. So instead of saying payday, I'm just going to say update. Oh, look how nice that matches my nails. Oh, very nice. I'm liking it. Uh, speaking of, hang there. Hang on. I've got two colors on. Uh, this one, the base color, is called Mooning. It's 1009 by EC. EC? EC? I don't know. It's almost gone, though. It's one of my favorites. And then Insta Dry by uh, Sally Hansen. It's Prismatic Shine. It's called Moonstone. And that's like the glittery color I have over there. Kind of fun. Anyway, 
sidetracked. So I'm gonna put on here, rather than payday, I'm just gonna say update budget. And that way I get that done because it'll need to be done. I'll probably do that in the morning before I head out to work. So that'll be good, that'll be caught up and done. Let me see what else we have here. Oh, I can put in my work schedule. So I'm just gonna mark that in. We have 8.30 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. How many did I go over to? Okay. Remember that one time I did it and like all of them were lined up except for like, well, not all of them, half the page was right. And then the other half of the page, I just went like rogue. It's like, okay, well, that was, that was fun. Way to pay attention. I also filmed the notebook uh, plan with me. Actually, it was a flip through. It wasn't a plan with me. I've got to flip this. Sorry, guys. Uh, so anyway, I took just a regular spiral notebook that you would find at the store for like in the school supplies, nothing too crazy and turned it into an actual planner, like did a monthly layout and then did a uh, four weekly layouts just to give you guys some different ideas. I know when I first started, it was a struggle to know how to use everything and there's so many so many things out there and even now watching me do this sticker kit it's like yeah i don't i don't use most of the tools that are available that is for sure is there anything else that i need i need to do uh my planning stuff so i'm going to say down here in the bottom which is another reason I wanted to keep this bottom layer open. I like this color here. I'm gonna upload here, but I've got a list of things that I wanna do for that. And then I wanna go in and grab a mauve, yeah, pink. Let's do a blush. And then here. So what I wanna do is I just want to make myself a little bit of a reminder. On these two days, I am going to be uploading videos. And I want to make sure that I get my thumbnails made. So I'm just going to write it down really quick. Upload video. Make thumbs. And I make mine over on PicMonkey. I know a lot of YouTubers make it over on Canva. I just really like PicMonkey. I find it to be a little bit easier to maneuver and operate, upload and save. So I did play with Canva for a little while, but I started on PicMonkey, Pick Monkey, Pick Money, yeah, uh, before I tried Canva. So that could be the other reason that I prefer it. I think it's like switching from an Apple to an Android or vice versa. Once you start with one, it is really hard to switch to the other or back and forth. So make thumbnail and then I need to do the Instagram post that goes with it. A little behind the scenes there. My Instagram automatically goes to Facebook, so all that is where it needs to be. How are you guys sitting? Are we looking good? Ooh, we're at 26 minutes. That's not bad, but I feel like we could do a little bit, little bit better. I know there's a plants watering one. Oh, what am I going to do meal prep? If we're going to be gone this weekend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna put Winston filming in here and here. Makes the most sense since I'll be updating. And so 
so far so good on the losing weight. I was going to say diet, but I'm not dieting. I can't say diet because then it feels restrictive and I just, I don't want to feel restricted if that makes sense. I know we're going to be there all day. So I'm going to put this Winston down here and I'm going to dedicate Sunday morning to meal prep. However, this is very important to me. So I want to make sure that even if I don't get my meal prep done, I'm going to have to have a conversation with Wes and just let him know that I really want to get these 7,000 words done in a day and it's going to take me hours. So I'm going to need his help if I don't finish meal prepping so that he can step in and he will. He 100% will. There have been times in the past where I will sacrifice things that I want to do as far as like hobbies or things that I enjoy for things that I know I should be doing because that's my job as, you know, a 1940s housewife. I know you understand what I'm saying. And trying to get out of that and understanding that Wes is 100% in support of all of the things I do. He has no problem like doing laundry or dishes or anything of the sort. Nothing of the sort. I always still feel kind of weird asking. I grew up in a household where, you know, my mom cooked and cleaned and my dad did the yard work and took out the trash and all of that good stuff. So <laughs> I'm not saying I'm trying to break the mold or anything. It's just I appreciate that Wes is so willing to support the things that I do. And he, he finds them important too. Although I will tell you the first time I told him that I had a YouTube channel that was for planners, he's like, it's for what? I'm like, you know, planning. He's like, wait, the book you put stickers and tape in? And I said, yeah. He's like, time out. You you do things on the internet with it? I'm like, yeah, I plan with people. He's like, oh, like a live event where you guys get together and talk? I'm like, well, no, it's pre-taped. And he's like, okay. And then I told him a couple weeks ago, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm getting close to, you know, 200 followers, subscribers. And he's like, good for you. I'm like, right, you know. He celebrates all the things with me. I love him so much. He's, he's definitely... Definitely a keeper. So I am going to put my to-do list down here. I know it's going to grow throughout the week for sure. I want to be able to have two things here. Saturday is going to be ridiculous. I'm going to put a this week here. And then next week an actual one that says next week. I am going to put it over here. And I understand this puts two boxes that are blue together and I'm fine with that. I know that is like faux pas planning, but I am a hundred percent fine with that. I'm going to cough. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. I also need to, so to do this week, I need to, I need to write my plot. And when I say down, write, so when I say write down my plot, I'm going to write down a general idea of how I think the story is going to go, a general idea of how the characters are going to develop. But I'll tell you one thing that I've learned from writing books. You start with an idea, you get to about the middle middle of the book that you're writing and then all of a sudden the character says nope you didn't know me well enough when you planned this out because I've changed I've changed how I feel I changed how I want to look and then you've got to take a look at your whole manuscript and go okay well are we going to play along with this new character's ideas or are we going to put them back in the box nine times out of ten I listen to my characters otherwise they just haunt my dreams they really really do haunt my dreams haunt my nightmares one of the two so I know I need to write down the plot. I know I need to meal prep. I don't want to start sabotaging myself. We are in the seventh week and weight loss is going well. I figure within, by the time Christmas rolls around, I should be down to the weight I want to be. 
and I'm happy with that. I'm happy with it coming off slowly so that I can understand how I'm going to maintain it. Because if it comes off too fast, I won't know how to feed my body to stay at this, this weight. Does that make sense? And I haven't really given anything up but pasta and rice, which I rely heavily on in the past as my comfort food. So I've tried to cut those out and deal with my like crazy emotions as they come up. I also want to read every day. That has been really helpful for me when I get home from work and I'm tired. Just to remember after dinner, after cleanup, after, you know, tidying everything, sit down for a half an hour, which always turns into two hours because the books I read are amazing, just to read. Clear my mind of all the clutter of the day, the clutter of work, everything, and just sit down and read for a little bit. If you have any book suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. I read pretty much anything from comedy to sci-fi to um, romance to, I mean, you name it, murder mysteries, nonfiction, all of it. So if you have a book recommendation, please, please, please put it down in the comments. I will definitely check it out. This week, I don't think I have anything in that column yet. And of course, I don't know what's going to carry over for next week. I guess I can do meal plan in here because I do know I need that. I'm going to put on Thursday in the morning that I want to update. I wonder, maybe I'll do one of these dots because they're stinking adorable. I want to update my habit tracker. So I'm going to put this as one of the first things I do when I get up in the morning. If I do it every day, I find that I do my habits every day. If I don't update my habit tracker once a week and I just let it go, it doesn't get updated and I don't do my habits. And this month my habits are a little different than last month. Um, if you remember last month was exercise, water, lemon, wash face in the evening, hair, makeup, no spend, read, journal, make bed. Okay, I did some of those well and some of those not at all this month I want to do no spend and see I haven't filled it in so I need to make sure and put that on my planner at least once a week to go in and fill it in so no spend read no alcohol no pasta no rice no sugar so those are the four there that I'm concentrating on in February today doesn't count because it's a plan with me day as far as the alcohol goes uh, 261 is what I started with in January to 51.7 is what I started with in February. And yes, I'm counting that as 10, not 9.3. So don't come at me, dog. Don't come at me. Uh, all sorts of budget in February. And then let me get back. Ugh. There we go. So we're back on this week. Sorry for the sidetrack. I just wanted to show you groceries here. I think that's all I have for this week so far. I will be updating it as the week goes and then as soon as I am no longer on record I am going to try to get this sticker separated because I really 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 want to put it at the bottom here for the birthdays. I love you guys so much. I'm so glad you're here. If you like the videos and you're not subscribed please consider subscribing. I would love to grow this community with like-minded people who just who just appreciate one another. I hope you have the very best day. Talk to you soon. Bye.